Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're just now joining me, my name is Marley. I do all things plus size fashion, lifestyle, travel. This week we have another Shein haul. So please remember if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button down below and I hope you enjoy. Have I mentioned I love fall? Fall is my favorite season. It's my favorite season. This is one of the many reasons. Light sweaters and pumpkin orange. Who doesn't like pumpkin orange? <laughs> I have no idea if it looks good on me, but I like it nonetheless. So this sweater is adorable. It's got these, it's kind of, doesn't have arms. It's armless. It's like wearing a blanket with cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, meant to be off the shoulder and it is, as you can see, kind of a bat wing sort of situation and then the arms get tighter towards the wrist. So really cute, very comfortable, oversized. This would work very easily with leggings. Even on me, it covers my rear and I'm pretty tall. So there you have it. Love this sweater. Um, it's not the softest sweater I've worn, but it's not rough either. It's not itchy or anything like that. So keep that in mind. Let me step back a little. It does have a tighter area down towards the bottom. And I think it's meant to just sort of hang, go with the flow. It just sort of flows. So if you like that look, this one is for you. Sorry, I'm looking over in the mirror, but Overall, I really like the sweater. In regards to the skirt, I kind of hoped this orange in the skirt matched the sweater, but the sweater is a little brighter than it appeared in the pictures to me. Uh, other than that, I really like it. I like the pairing. The skirt is super stretchy, super flexible, so it's a spandexy type material. So there you have it. There is the front. And here is the back and, and as you can see it, as I pull my arms up it does tug on the bottom so that might get annoying after a while time will tell I can't actually decide if I really like this one or not <laughs> I trying to go back and forth part of me really likes it I think it's kind of retro kind of cute um, and then part of me is like this pattern is a lot as my son would say it's a lot <laughs> <laughs> you guys will have to weigh in on this one for sure. It's sort of cute, I think. Um, the neckline on here, it's got a scoop neckline. And this fabric is, how do I describe it? It's definitely got stretch to it. It sort of feels like a twill sort of feel to it. It's a little bit rough. It's not very soft. It's not scratchy or anything, but it's definitely not smooth or soft. I thought it maybe from the picture that it was sort of a sweater material, but it's really not. So just keep that in mind. It is stretchy and um, I like that the the band is kind of higher up rather than right in the center of my, my stomach. So it kind of draws the eye up on that. One thing I do not like about it is the, the buttons, although they are cute, they just sort of dangle here. <laughs> it's like the backs of the buttons were too big because it's a false, they're not functional in any way. So they're just sort of hanging here and it just looks a little weird. Maybe it doesn't look weird from the front coming in, but when I'm looking at it down, it looks a little odd. So these arms have little cuffs on them and sometimes with cuffs they pull. These aren't so bad. I mean, they're not pulling very much at all, so that's good. And it has a, let me, pencil skirt fit to it and the cuff are just right at the knee on me and I'm 5'9 so keep that in mind it will be longer on some of you. Do notice it rides up a tiny bit when I walk so keep that in mind. I can't imagine it's going to ride up more than an inch or two so still a pretty modest length. Let me know again what you think on this one as I'm not completely sold. Part of me thinks it's a really cute fall dress and with a pair of tall boots it's going to be awesome and the other part of me just isn't sure on the pattern but everybody needs a good plaid for fall right let me know ladies let's talk about these pants <laughs> so 
I got so sick of bitching that the high waist pants weren't really high waisted that I went looking for high waisted pants. <laughs> this is what I found. I don't know if I should love them or hate them. I can't decide. I will say they are quite snug through my waist area. They act sort of like a, a girdle, um, <laughs> which I guess is good because it holds everything in. Probably not as comfortable for sitting down, but um, I guess they are what they are. They're definitely, let me turn to the side here. They're pulling a little bit here because they're a little bit snug on me. I could stand to be five pounds lighter before these fit appropriately, but um, let me know. So it's probably a normal waist to about here and then they've added this additional panel on it. I was kind of hoping to be able to pair a jean like this with some shorter shirts but i'm not sure if these are the jeans you guys will have to let me know on that for sure the thing i don't like about them is you pretty much girls if you're petite or shorter than me you don't stand a chance with these pants now it could be that my torso is longer and maybe they're meant to go up even higher and they can't right now because you know it is where it is down here but these pants not sure if the camera is picking it up but they're rubbing against the floor for sure and I would be tripping on them if they didn't get hemmed so for sure too long for you short girls just throwing that out there but otherwise let me know what you think on them I think we're either gonna love them or we're gonna hate them by the end of this video because they're the only pair of jeans I bought so <laughs> I may be wearing them a lot or we may just switch them out to another pair let me know here is the side here, let me pull them up while I turn around so I don't trip. Here is the back on them, and here is the front again. In regards to the shirt, I think the shirt is really cute. Let me pull it out here so y'all can see the real length on it. Oh, got it. <laughs> so here is the shirt, super cute. It's sort of a satin type material and it's got a really cute navy stripe pattern to it so it's kind of almost a goldish beige color with the navy squiggly pattern i do like the shirt a lot i like i can move my arms around good the neck although it seems snug it's got one of those elastic buttons on the back so it's got some pull on it shouldn't have any problems if you have a thicker neck shirt for sure is a win pants let me know at the end of the video So I must have been feeling the geometric prints when I was shopping this haul because I got quite a few of them. But this one's really cute. It's a halter tank. The stretch on the neck, it's a very stretchy shirt. So although it looks like it's cinched in here, it's definitely roomy and movable. Doesn't feel like it's choking. Little keyhole cutout. And then um, I feel like this cuts in maybe just a little bit too tight, but that could just be my body shape. It cinches in at the waist here and then it flares out. Overall roomy and cute, I think. Same pants as before. Let me know what you think. Here's the front. Here is the back. And here are those really long pants I keep tripping on. I should have hemmed them first, but I'm not sold on them, so I'm not sure if they're going back. This shirt might look a little lackluster from the front, but I didn't purchase it for the front. I purchased it for the back. So here is the back on this. It's got this really cute, sorry, I can't see what I'm doing, so you'll have to bear with me. <laughs> it's got this really cute uh, button pattern going up the back with a kind of a deep V on the back of it. So really cute. It's very soft, very stretchy. And um, these, it does have cuff sleeves, which I think adds a little bit of an added element to them. They're plenty big, so if you have larger arms, they are big enough and they move good on it. Not to mention the opening in the back um, allows for easy movement as well. Ladies, how cute is this sweater? Super cute. It's got buttons running down the side here, and then it kind of opens up down here on the leg. So really, really cute. My only concern would be if it's, if I'm wearing not, I'm still wearing these high-waisted ones, if I was wearing a regular jean, 
if it might show just a tiny bit of my belly here because um, generally jeans hit me around here or down here so I would be a little bit concerned about that other than that I really like it it's really really comfortable super comfortable it's not very heavyweight so that's nice just slightly warm it's got a rib net but the I don't know if you can see here but the fabric is very very fuzzy it's like wearing a stuffed animal so <laughs> I really love the sweater for nothing else the comfort and hopefully when I pair this with the normal pair of jeans I think it will probably be okay we'll see I may have to just tack it down a teeny bit further on me. Shorter gals, you probably would not have that issue at all. And for sh shorter gals, I bet this is probably long enough just to wear some leggings with. I don't think it is on me because when I turn around, it doesn't cover my full rear end. And I'm not sure anybody wants to see my rear end when I'm in leggings. <laughs> This type of outfit was why I purchased these pants in the first place. I see girls wearing, um, and women for that matter, plus size, skinny, whatever the case may be, wearing these crop tops with just a little bit of their skin showing. And I think it looks really cute. Um, with my height though, I was having an issue finding pants that that would work. These fit the bill on that. I'm just not sure if I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling too old to be showing um, some skin here for my day-to-day -day outfits. I'm not sure. You guys will have to weigh in on that. But uh, I like this kimono here. It's got these pretty fall colors. It's like a forest green with some rust reds and browns and rose pinks. So the kimono is really, really cute. And it's got little tassels on the end of it. It's cool so you don't get overheated in it and I do like it a lot. The crop top is from the Shein Fit Plus line, so it is a larger size for the crop top, so I figured I'd be safer with a little more coverage there. I thought so, but it's actually still very, <laughs> it's pretty short. It's just a little tank, and it's got a building seam on the front of it, but it's still pretty short. It's um, maybe an inch below my bra line, if that, and it keeps kind of riding up. I would probably be more comfortable with one that's a little bit longer. But here is the outfit with these jeans on it. I adjusted my camera just a little bit because I don't think in the last one that you could tell how long these things are. They're really, really long. I keep kind of tripping over them. So I did want you to have another chance to see the length on them. Let me know what you think of this look too young for me or can I get away with something like this? Here's the front. Here is the back and the back on the pants again. Please, please, please weigh in on this one. So I have no idea what inspired me to purchase this, but look at it. <laughs> this is insane. Um, I will, I have a confession, I am wearing a shapewear under this, but this dress is actually kind of pretty. Uh, the pattern, I, you know, I tried a couple other animal prints, I thought I'd try a zebra this time. Again, my intention is to wear a long cardigan or something with it, but darn, it doesn't actually look too bad here. I like the high neckline on this, so it gives, it makes you feel kind of modest, even though down here, it's all hugging curves, it's got this ruching up the side so it just kind of helps mask a little bit and then I think the print on this because it's so loud so to speak <laughs> it uh, helps hide a little bit through here as well. So I actually don't hate this one and I was a little wary. I got it, the only reason why I purchased this by the way is it was on sale. I don't know if it was on clearance or sale but if you like it hopefully it's still still around for that but let me know what you think about this with the jacket or something over it it's um pretty comfortable it's very stretchy obviously i will say as i walk it tends to slide up a little bit probably it comes maybe it kind of squishes an extra two inches up so shorter than i would normally wear but um, it does have overall starting length it just kind of weasels its way up a little bit as i walk here is the front on this one 
And it's kind of interesting, this kind of pleats this way and then you have the ruching that way so it just gives it some texture. Let me know what you think. And here is the back on this one. And by the way, I tried this on backwards accidentally. <laughs> It was hilarious. I'm like, why does this not fit? It doesn't even remotely fit here. So um, it helps when you're trying on clothes if you put them on the correct direction. That is all I have for this video and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button before you leave and I will see you in the next one.